Earlier this year, a heat wave coupled with little or no rain hit farmers in South America. It prompted Argentina's Buenos Aires Grains Exchange to cut its forecast. But soybean producers could soon use new technology that increases yields despite adverse climate conditions. Drought tolerance technology, HB4, uses a gene naturally found in sunflowers and it improves soy and wheat tolerance to a lack of water. This transgenic technology was developed at Argentina's Scientific and Technical Research Council in Santa Fe, led by researcher Raquel Chan in conjunction with the biotech company Bioseries. You cannot grow with this where there is extreme drought. Plants do not become resistant to drought, but you can grow where there is little or low rainfall and the yield will be better than with traditional soy. The same goes for wheat. Research began in the 1990s, but in late April of this year, China's Agriculture Ministry approved the technology for soy. This paves the way for farmers to now use HB4. China is the world's largest importer of soybeans. Argentina, the world's largest supplier of soybean flour and oil. And HB4 has already been approved in other major soybean producing nations, such as the United States, Brazil and Paraguay. This development has been hailed as a game changer for agricultural production, but also a landmark for Argentina's science community and for its export model. It's also a game changer for Argentina because it was created with, uh, based on the science of Raquel Chan and his team, uh, public uh, research. But the articulation with the private sector, with BioSeries, is what makes that science that was born in, in a lab, in an Argentinian lab, uh, a technology of global impact. Technology with a global impact, but also one that revives a global debate over the use of transgenic technology in the food chain. It's a moment excellent to this is an excellent time to debate these effects. Some groups are against the use of transgenic. The question is if they had a vaccine. If they had a vaccine, they can't say they are against transgenic products. I can understand there are legitimate concerns about the use of other technological products with transgenic products. For example, you can't use herbicide indiscriminately. Por ejemplo, que no se use indiscriminadamente un herbicida. As well as the possibility of exporting soy grown with this technology, Argentina recently became the first country in the world to approve genetically engineered wheat, leading to further debate in the sector and with concerns other countries will not follow suit and could stop wheat imports from Argentina. Joel Richards for CGTN in Buenos Aires.